Hello, everybody, and welcome to Belladonna Grace. My name is Karen. I hope you're doing well, and thanks for joining tonight, or today, or whenever you're joining. All right, so today I thought we would do a fun one. Um, it's uh, what does the uh, what are, what makes us so attracted to the opposite sex? So let's see what the cards say. Oops. <laughs> this is actually the second time I've tried this. The cards are uh, like jumping out of my hands for whatever reason for this reading. Okay. Okay, so the first one we'll put rose quartz, uh, citron, blue calcite, and amethyst. All right, so those are our four choices. Um, you can uh, pick one, and if you're not ready, you can uh, pause it, and we'll get started. Hello, everyone who chose uh, the rose quartz, deck one. Let's see what uh, the cards say for you. Um, they actually like the fact that uh, they think you're going to be a good mother. Um, or if you are a mother already, or a parent, they like the way you parent. They like the way you take care of children. Um, they like the way you provide a home. This is what they like about you. They see you as a potential partner, um, as a parent. What, what, uh, what I didn't mention before is uh, we're talking about energies, male and female energies. I have to uh, remind myself to, uh, to speak in those terms, so sorry about that. So this is uh, uh, what the opposite partner or what your potential partner sees in you. I should rename it that. Uh, they like uh, the fact that you're a little bit uh, dual du duality, like um, you're not um, all roses and sunshine for sure. And they actually like that about you. You um, you may be argumentative even, or you may see like um, the dark side of things or something like that. Um, they appreciate that in you. Um, they like the way you think. And um, they tend to, um, or I don't know if it's your next partner or if it's most partners, they tend to find a, v, a deep spiritual connection with you as well. So um, that's what they see in you. Um, the fact that uh, you would be a good parent, that you don't always just see roses and sunshine. You may even have like a dark side to you or an argumentative side. They actually appreciate that. Um, they like the way you think. And they think that there is a, uh, a strong spiritual connection with you. All right. So that's yours. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please uh, hit like. And if you have not yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. It's Citrone, people. Deck number two. Uh, thank you so much. Let's see what... Uh, the opposite or your potential partners see in you. You have great ideas. You put projects into action. Um, you study things you don't, um, you don't um, follow the crowd. You're uh, more of an independent thinker. Um, you, you really like to start projects and see them through. So um, this is something uh, nice about you that, that people, uh, members of the potential partners, I should say, uh, 
like about you. Let's see what else. Uh, you're very creative and you work hard. Uh, it's the same message. It seems to be the same message over again. Um, yeah, you're very creative. You work hard. You, um, you study, you take things seriously and um, you just don't, uh, you take you don't just take other word people's other people's word for it. You're an independent thinker. So let's see. Oops, all this fell out. So um, you must be uh, good with handling money as well. Oh my lord, they're popping. <laughs> the cards, the cards are coming out on their own. They're not waiting for me anymore. I'm too slow. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So. Um, you say, and you say what you think. You uh, you are an independent thinker, and you tell people the way who you are. So you're very uh, you I guess confident and bold in that way. At the, and at the same time, you uh, you do work hard and you have creative ideas. So let's do one more harmony. Yeah. Um, there's a nice blend for you, um, you with starting projects. Uh, be taking care of your money and not listening to what other people say. Uh, this is what they like about you. They, I guess they would feel too, you would make, make a good business partner as well. They may see that in you as well. All right, so uh, it's kind of quick, but uh, that's basically what they see about you. Um, how you like to start things, see them through, study, um, very creative. Um, you say what you think, good with your money, and uh, you're balanced. And they think uh, that combination is very, uh, it's like the perfect uh, partner. All right, so we'll go to the next one. Oh, thanks. And um, if you liked it, hit like. And if you uh, haven't yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, and you'll uh, be notified when I send out another video. Uh, thanks, and have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay, hello, those who chose deck number three and the blue calcite. We'll see what potential partners see in you. Okay, this one makes me laugh a little bit. Um, yeah, so what they see in you is that um, you're very good at um, managing things, controlling things, managing your emotions, managing people, uh, and managing situations. And on the other side, you have a very uh, playful, uh, goofy side, which they really like. So they like that combination of managing, being strong, and doing this, and on the other hand, uh, being silly and goofy, which they really appreciate. Um, with this, with this death card, this is a new idea and change. So um, you also um, don't like to be stagnant. You're like a rolling stone. So um, you do uh, change things up once in a while. So that kind of brings variety and interest into your life. Um, you probably like to travel. I don't know if you're traveling right now, um, but you have a might have a wonder a, a, a a joy of traveling, which they may appreciate as well. I'll just put another one of these and then we'll put a couple tarot's down. Courage. Yeah, um, this is what they like. When you make changes, like you make bold moves or changes, it does take courage. That's what they see and that's what they like about you is uh, the way you do things. Maybe you travel off to some exotic places. They see that as being courageous and they admire that in you. All right. You follow through on your plans. Wow. And uh, they think you're an awesome catch. They would, uh, people like to partner up with you for sure. They, um, they're probably surprised that you're single sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you may have uh, people returning into your life. You may be a person who, where the exes come back often to, uh, <laughs> come back to you. 
Um, yeah, so here we are. So that's good. So you like to manage and control things, they, which they appreciate. And you got a silly, goofy side, which uh, I can feel. It makes me laugh myself. Um, you're not afraid to change and just change things up. Um, and uh, you may bring back people. People like come back into your life. You may find that people return to your life to uh, renew their friendship or relationship with you where to start one. All right. So uh, thank you. I uh, hope, uh, hope that resonated. If you liked it, please hit the like. If uh, you haven't yet, please subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when I send out another video. Well, thank you and have a good night. Bye-bye. All right. So it's the amethyst people. Um, last but not least, deck number four. Let's see what the potential partners see in you. Oh, you may remind them of somebody they've known before. You may seem familiar. Like when you, uh, you may find you've heard that before. I feel like I've known you before. They may have that sensation around you. Um, <clears throat> you may have gone through some trials and tribulations and you're not a person that blames others. So they, they admire that in you. Let's see, I'm gonna just put another one here. Um, you're good at managing and balancing things. Uh, they like the way you handle, um, I guess it's projects or duties. You may have been a very good multitasker. Um, your, your life situation may call for that and they can see that in you. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Um, very creative. Uh, very creative in starting things. Um, you um, you can plan. You're a planner, and um, you have great ideas. Um, so it stops. Uh, there's probably not a lot of time that people will be bored in your company. Um, however, you're not um, like totally like this energizer rabbit bunny rabbit you are you just um you, you have this ability to plan fun kind of things let's see you could evoke a little jealousy in people maybe you're attractive Whew. Um, yeah, so you may have a lot of um, former uh, bows or people interested in you. Um, there's something very quiet about you, uh, like a quiet confidence, perhaps they see that. And uh, there's not like, like I really get a sense that you're not flashy or showy. Um, you um, people, when they think about you after they've gone, they always, they seem to have like, um, you don't often leave a bad impression on people. So that, um, that that's good. Um, the jealousy here, I'm not sure if that's uh, something you have to worry about or anything, but I think mostly what it is, is if there's like, there seems to be like a dark side to this is that people do may tend to be jealous around you or possessive about you. Um, and they want you in their, their life for sure. Um, so you may be popular. It's even though you're quiet and uh, you may, people may not even realize that about you. It's, a, it's when someone gets close to you, they, they, they become very drawn to you and then tend to be afraid to lose you. All right, so uh, awesome. So those are your cards and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it resonated. And um, if you haven't, if you liked it, please hit the like. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good night.